This video will show you how to prepare for your first Tinker lesson. First, be sure you've created a teacher account, set up your first classroom, and added all your students. If you have not, check out the tutorial video titled Getting Started with Tinker. Now, all you need to get your class started is a computer with a modern browser for every student and an internet connection. Tinker's learning platform is entirely browser-based and requires nothing to download or install. It'll work on desktops, laptops, netbooks, and Chromebooks. However, the course and classroom management features aren't supported on tablets. Out of the modern browsers, Tinker works best in Google Chrome and Safari. If you're a teacher who has no coding experience, that's not a problem. Tinker is specifically designed so that teachers without programming backgrounds can utilize the platform to teach their class. We'll provide everything you need like teacher guides containing preparation materials and answer keys for all quizzes and activities. To get to these resources from the teacher dashboard, be sure you've logged in and have your first classroom set up. Next, click on the lessons icon under the classroom, then click on a lesson. At the top of the lesson page, the activity map shows the learning flow for the lesson with each of the modules. This is the same view your students will see with the module they are currently on highlighted in orange. Also, you can run through a Tinker lesson yourself from your teacher account to see what your students go through by clicking on the modules. The teacher guide begins with the expected lesson duration. Lessons are typically designed to take one class period. You can easily modify a lesson to fit your class period by allocating more or less time for the do-it-yourself projects at the end of the lesson. Next, you can see which coding concepts your students will learn under the Objectives section and what projects they will be building under the Key Projects section. The Common Core State Standards and Computer Science Teachers Association standards addressed are also shown here, as well as new key vocabulary and code blocks the students learn in the lesson. The teacher guide will also tell you what preparation or materials are needed. Under the Activities section, each module is listed with details about what your students will do and suggestions on how to support them. Recommendations on how to teach your class are shown in bold, and the type of module is listed in parentheses. Teacher guides end with the wrap-up section with suggestions on how to end your class period. This may be a review session covering newly learned concepts, a short quiz, or a presentation of your students' projects. Below here is where you'll find the answer keys for the puzzles and quizzes in the lesson. Before your first class, we suggest you print out student cards for all your students. These student cards will provide their username and password for them to log in. If a student has login issues, you can view and change their passwords under the Students tab in the Teacher Dashboard. And if you need to add an extra student to your class, you can do that by hitting the Add Student button, selecting I want to create Tinker accounts for my students, and entering the appropriate information on the same page. And for any issues you run into, there's an extensive help page with an FAQ section, support on creativity tools, various tips and tricks, a reference section for code blocks, and a user guide for educators. If you need any further support, feel free to email us at support at tinker.com. And now, you're ready to run your class.